Hey, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create these epic swoosh transitions. Intro. Alright, let's talk about these epic and very popular swoosh transitions that we see all over the internet. Why is it so successful? Well, it transitions seamlessly to another scene, keeping the flow going, which is really important. You see this most in travel videos, vlogs, music videos, and so much more, and if used well, it's really nice as long as you don't overdo it. The most amazing thing about this transition is that it's super easy and it doesn't require any kind of video editing skills as it's done entirely using your camera and then using whatever kind of video editing software you have to cut the two scenes together and you're done. Which is just super basic. In this tutorial I will be using Adobe Premiere Pro as my video editing software of choice like usual. Alright, so how do we get this effect going? First of all, you must choose your subject that you're going to be filming. Then it would be great if you have a zoom lens, as movement is much more dramatic when you're zoomed in with your camera. Pretty logical. Then film your subject and when you're ready just swoosh out your camera the way you want. For example, swoosh it to the left, to the right, up or down, or even more creative movements, all up to you. Now when you're new scene you must make sure that you're doing the opposite transition in movement with your camera. For example, if you have swooshed your camera out on the left in the previous scene, you must swoosh your camera in from the right in your new scene. This will make it look like it's a continuous movement and it will keep the flow going and that's it. Just cut these two video clips where the fast movement is happening and just paste them together. If that isn't enough, you can also speed up the last part of your video out transition and the first part of your video in transition to make the transition a little bit quicker. If you want to take it even a step further, you can use a transition clip. So you have one scene where you do your swoosh out effect on a very short but fast clip and then swoosh out really quickly and swoosh back in into your last scene. An example here is what I have done for a project about horse riding. You see me swoosh out and then swoosh in onto a grass close-up where I just fly over the grass and then swoosh out and back into my new scene. This shows my audience there is a lot of movement going on and it also makes this transition a little bit more dramatic. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and definitely, definitely check out our website. If you buy something from our website, it helps to support our YouTube channel to create better content. Alright, hope to see you in the next one and goodbye.